I'm at the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and behind me is a statue of Benjamin Franklin, one of the United States' founding forefathers. And here at the museum, on display, is one of history's most unique and meaningful archaeological discoveries, straight from China. In 1974, a farmer in China was digging a well when he struck upon something very unusual. It was a fragment of terracotta. Unbeknownst to him, he had actually uncovered one of the most monumental achievements in human history. Buried beneath his feet were thousands of life-size statues, made more than 2,000 years ago. All of them standing steadily and steadfastly, guarding the tomb of their master, China's first emperor. Now 10 of those soldiers are on display at the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia. The terracotta figures are life-size. They vary in height and uniform, and even hairstyle, all in accordance with their rank. There are general warriors and chariot drivers, along with archers that are kneeling, while some are standing up. In all, 160 accessory displays, all showcasing the artisan's talents. Especially interesting were the gold ornaments and bronze pieces, and the outstanding recreated chariot and horses. Once visitors get an up-close look at the statues and the many interactive displays that give an indication of what the warriors might have looked like when they were buried, it's on to a near total immersion experience. You walk into an area where it feels like you're underground and perhaps even one of the statues yourself. Then one of them practically comes to life. A projector shows the warrior being painted and then buried and ultimately bringing it to what it looks like today. In the years since their discovery, archaeologists have excavated and researched the warriors, exploring their intricacies and uncovering their histories, all the while unraveling the secrets that have lain beneath the feet of those farmers. Officials at the Franklin Institute talked about why they say it's so important that the exhibit is in Philadelphia. You know, one of the great things is Philadelphia is the birthplace of America. And many will say that Xi'an is the birthplace of China, especially under um, the emperor. So there's some great connection there. Philadelphia is also the first American World Heritage City. And this Terracotta Warriors, the museum in Xi'an, is, is a World Heritage site. So we love these comparisons. Beyond the magnitude of the discovery and what it means to the cultural and scientific communities, officials also say the terracotta warriors serve, ironically, as bringing peace to the world and tying people of the United States with the people of China. I think it's extremely important for people here in America to really understand the Chinese culture, and this is one of the ways to, to make that happen. Reporting for Xinhua, I'm correspondent Monica Guy in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania.